Greetings, my name is William, and today I wanted to speak to you about Life is Strange, specifically what will happen in Life is Strange season two. Just recently, we heard the very exciting news from Donut Entertainment that they are working on a new Life is Strange game. They released a short video talking about this, and I wanted to dive in and take a look at what we might be seeing in season two. I want to preface this video by saying that this is going to be more of a blueprint for people to make their own theories about Life is Strange season two. We're going to be looking at comments developers have made in the past to give us an insight into what they think season two will be, and you'll be able to make your own judgment from those comments. Now, while I was making this video, Life is Strange Before the Storm was announced at E3 and I have a separate video that talks about everything that was announced and you can find that in the description. Uh, that is a separate game and a sequel made by Deck 9 Games, so right now I want to focus on Donod's new Life is Strange game, so let's begin. First, I wanted to address the language in the video that Luke Bergedust, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uses to describe Season 2, which is New Life is Strange game which I thought was a bit weird. They do call the first Life is Strange game Season 1, so you would think that a sequel would be called Season 2. There could be a few reasons for this. One could be that because of the difference in languages and how we pronounce certain things, he could very well mean Season 2, but calling it Life is Strange game is how they would describe it in French. Another reason could be that calling it a new Life is Strange game is because they are trying to set this one apart from the first game. Maybe they're doing something a bit different with this one and they wanted to stand out more than just Season 2. One more reason could be the newly announced Life is Strange prequel. Before its announcement, Don't Nod were probably aware of its existence, although their contribution to that game is still a little unclear, and my guess is that they were intentionally being vague so as not to create any confusion. They had to announce that they were working on a new game, otherwise if Before the Storm was revealed without them saying anything, people would assume that's what they were working on. Calling a new Life is Strange game rather than Season 2 was another way of ending any confusion if people thought Before the Storm was going to be Season 2. I really hope that makes sense. Now to talk story and characters, and the best way to find out what's happening in Season 2 is to establish what we know for sure, what is concrete. Now just before I get started and show off all the information that we have so far, I'll say now that everything points to two things. We will have new characters, and we will have a new location. It's been said in a number of interviews with the developers that Max and Chloe's story is sadly finished. In an interview with Michelle Ko on PC Games N, Michelle states that their story is done. Something we know for sure is that in the course of those five episodes of Life is Strange, we told the story we wanted to tell about Max and Chloe. This is backed up by a tweet from Luke Bagadust, one of the producers of Life is Strange, saying, Haha, ha, sorry but no, this is the end of Max's adventures, as we have already said in interviews. Jumping back to Before the Storm, the deluxe version of the game will have a bonus episode entitled Farewell, in which you get to play as Max, and the few times I've seen people talk about this, it's being described as one final time to play as Max. It's apparently going to be very emotional, and I think the reason that it's going to be emotional is because what they're saying is true. This will be the final time we get to play as Max, indicating we won't see her, or at the very least play as her in Season 2. In terms of the setting, Michelle Coe did reveal in a Kind of Funny Games cast on January 22nd, 2016, that if they did do a Life is Strange sequel, it would take place in the same universe of Life is Strange. Considering that there's going to be probably new characters, it's a safe bet that wherever it will be set will be a new location entirely. However, this location and the people in it might make reference to Arcadia Bay or the characters within, which means there's a possibility of one or more characters reappearing in season two. One important factor about the setting and the story in some respect is the ending of season one, which I'm going to spoil for you now, so spoiler warning. The choice you had to make as Max sacrificing Chloe or sacrificing Arcadia Bay. Whichever one you choose has grave consequences and it's going to be interesting to see whether Don't Nod acknowledge these choices and have your season 1 decisions affect season 2 or ignore these choices altogether. If season 2 is going to be all new characters and all new setting, then depending on what they do, there's not much of a reason to continue on from season 1 and Don't Nod can have that as their own contained story, making Life is Strange into an anthology series. However, if season 2 is going to occur in the same universe as season 1, then they they might run into some difficulty in one reality, an entire town is destroyed by a freak tornado 
tornado and thousands of people have died, and yet another one person was tragically killed in a school shooting. I honestly don't know what Donob would do, maybe they can find some middle ground, or if I did have to guess they might choose to ignore season 1 altogether. One last important matter I wanted to address was Max's power. It was critical in season 1, which it allowed you to rewind time and make different choices either in dialogue or through your actions. I made a comment on my last video about Before the Storm saying that time travel is what made Life is Strange unique. It gave it some originality and that taking out time travel takes away that originality and I certainly agree with that on season 2. Time travel is not what ultimately made Life is Strange uh, but it is certainly a huge part of what made it great. So ultimately, I don't think they'll get rid of time travel altogether. Maybe they'll improve it, maybe they'll change the power entirely, uh, but they definitely won't get rid of it. I'm not really a scientist, but I think I can safely comment that Max is not just affecting time, but affecting space as well, since she can manipulate time to get into places through space she normally can't get to. Maybe this will be addressed and make Season 2 a bit more challenging gameplay wise. I don't know for sure, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I hope you've enjoyed this video, looking at what we know for sure about Season 2. Any news that gets announced, or any trailers that gets released, or any rumours that pop up, you can be assured that I will be covering them on this channel along with anything regarding Before the Storm. Maybe this will give us a heads up at Season 2, and maybe I'm completely wrong about everything, who knows. But I want to know what you think, so leave a comment down below about any theories you have for Season 2. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good day.